Here's your first alert forecast with meteorologist Alex Searle. Well, today is going to be another pretty nice day outside overall. So let's go ahead and look at that day ahead this morning. We're starting out with temperatures in the upper 60s right around 7 a.m. But we're going to warm up once again into those low to mid 90s this afternoon. 92 degrees uh, at 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. I expect us to peak right around about 95 degrees at 5 p.m. So very warm day out there. A little bit below average still, though, overall with those temperatures. The average high is about 98 degrees this time of year. So going to be nice but not too hot out there. We'll stay out of the triple digits, but I want to look towards tomorrow now because this is our next shot for some showers and storms in Texoma. So let's start out at 11 a.m. on the future track here. We're going to have some isolated activity possible during the day, about a 10 to 20 percent chance for rain during the daytime hours on Saturday. So most of us will stay dry during the day, but the better rain chances will start to arrive in the evening hours as a cold front starts to approach out of the northwest of the Texas Panhandle. We'll see some lifting here in the atmosphere, and that's going to create some possible thunderstorms and maybe even a low chance for severe weather. I'm not too concerned concerned about the severe weather chances, but as that cold front does approach Texoma and in the overnight hours going into Sunday morning, we'll see some more scattered to uh, numerous amounts of showers here in Texoma. So that's our best shot for rain here. And as that cold front moves through, we'll continue to see some more rain chances going into the daytime hours on Sunday. Like I said, though, severe weather chance is pretty low overall. They actually, uh, this is the day two storm outlook. It just has us below the marginal risk for severe weather. And same thing for Sunday as well, which means it seems unlikely at this point we'll see severe weather. It can't rule out some lightning and thunder, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But here's a look at the seven day forecast temperatures in the mid 90s the next couple of days, drop into the upper 80s the early parts of next week, but then we'll be back into the mid 90s by middle parts of next week.